No! <laughs> and with that, guys, welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. In the last episode, we went through level 4 uh, Grape Garden, and now we're going through level 5 Yogurt Yard. Now, this level is honestly the star. I love the, the music for Yogurt Yard. I don't know why. Yogurt Yard is one of my favorite levels to play. I don't know why, it's just, it just always is. I always find myself coming back to this level more than anything. But, another little gimmick to it, um, they'll be kind of a little bit, um, a little bit sneaky with their, with their, uh, secret switches. Give me back that. Okay. And, well, if I can, eh, eh, whatever. Come over here, you see this little door here. This is a secret door here. This isn't where a secret switch is, but that's where the gimmick of the levels are coming. And actually, the secret door is actually coming up right here. You think I would die here, because that's the door to go out. But if you actually come down here, you'll see this. Well, oh, okay, okay. Or just die. I knew that was going to happen. I was trying to avoid that. But you saw the door down there. I don't want light. I, d I don't want to fill your dark soul with light! Okay, I, I know that was kind of a bad reference to that. <laughs> but anyways, this secret door down here. Come over here, there's a secret switch! There's the first of the secret switches in Yogurt Yard. Um, but this is where the game kind of gets tricky with the placement of them. Especially the la the, the one in the last stage. The last, uh, last stage of the level... You actually have to have a required power in order to access it. And the game will start doing that for a lot of things. And it'll start doing that for a lot of secret switches later on in the game, especially on level 6, which will be taken taken on the next next episode. But anyways, we completed that one, and it just unlocked a... What, I never really told, said what the secret switches do. It really just reveals a minigame. That's all it does. Either a minigame or the warp area, for that matter. So, come down here to 5-2. Take you on. i slice you, fishy! But, um, well, it's, I know it's been kind of a really easy game so far. It's not really that easy first time you play it, trust me on that, because if I remember correctly, when I first played this, since this was my first Kirby game, I got game overs a lot, to be perfectly honest, and, well, I can see now when I was replaying this game earlier, because uh, my, my friend, the Lord Finn, actually started doing a Let's Play of this game when he started his channel. But, uh, he kind of stopped because, well, he had a lot of issues with it. But, one thing that in particular, he said that there is a lot of cheap enemy placement. And I have to agree with him when I replay played this game. A lot of the enemy placements in this game are absolutely really cheap. So, yeah, come over here, go, go through that door. I know it's kind of like a little maze right there, but you want to go through that door, and there you get a free life there. And bonkers! Bonkers, what the hell are you doing? Okay. Okay, but Bonkers is actually kind of a, one of my favorite enemies in the game. Probably because he gives the best ability, in my opinion, besides UFO. I like Hammer. I, I really like Hammer Kirby, and I'm going to take it. Gimme Hammer! And Hammer Kirby is going to be the most... Honestly, it's the most useful. Because there's a lot of, uh, things that you can use Hammer for. And then be sure to keep it as much as you can, because a lot of the stages require you to do so. And come down here, there's a free life. You kind of have to get close to the pit of death, but you kind of have to do that. But anyways, like, Hammer is really a, an ability that's really useful for... Excuse me. Practically all the levels in the game, all, all the, like, the secrets in the game, like, um, there's going to be blocks that I'll show later that can only be destroyed by hammer, wheel, burning, I think something else. And then the pegs, like I showed in the last episode, they can only be stomped on by stone and hammer. So really, hammer is really the most useful. But anyways, I mentioned I had a story in the last episode, and 
I got completely off topic and I completely forgot to go back to it. But when I was younger, I I kind of made like a fan fiction story that included like all like things from like, Pokemon to Kirby to Sonic, all these other fanfics when I was younger. And keep in mind, I was only like nine years old when I wrote this. But like it was a really, I had a big imagination. I just died. Gosh, I just lost Hammer too. But I had, like, a big imagination like that. I know it's not, like, really imaginative if you steal all the people's work, but I, I kind of like that. It, it was, like, a story of uh, a guy that went through all, like, the scenarios of some of my favorite games that I played, like uh, this one in particular. And... Oh, shoot! I forgot he could still... Uh, the spikes. But, like, um... He won, like, all the stories of, like... Um, Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, I think Sonic Adventure 2 was one of them. And... Oh yeah, that's right, Golden Sun 2 made him go through that. And another game that I played when I was younger, and I will do a Let's Play of it sooner, it's called Bot and Kaidos. I don't know if any of you guys ever heard of that game, but... I made, like, the character go through all those scenarios and whatnot, and one of, one of his companions was, in fact, Kirby. Kirby was really his main, main, uh, guy to go to. So, I kind of, like, had that idea. I, I forgot what the character's name was. I, it's been so long. I don't ha I, I wrote it all down. I was... Oh, yeah, that's right. It even went through, um... I don't know if any of you guys ever played with these whenever you were younger, but, uh, Bionicles and whatnot. And, uh, Bionicle was, um, the Lego people that you had to build. I was a big Bionicle freak, freak when I was younger. Um, and pretty much that is a big part of my childhood right there, is playing those Bionicles and whatnot. But I made him go through the story of Bionicle, because Bionicle had a big story, and I actually have a game of Bionicle I will do a Let's Play over someday, sometime in the future. It's, um... I can't remember what it's just called Bionicle, but I think the technical name of it is Bionicle Chronicles. But I just had I, I like I had a lot of imaginative imaginative stuff when I was younger. Like he was a and I kinda really I really wish I had that that notebook that I had written the chapters on, because it was like a fanfic of some sort. I guess it would be considered a fanfic. I didn't know what it was called at the time. But yeah, I mean, I know that a lot of people had stuff like that, but I was like nine years old when I wrote it. It was still at the time when I was thinking of becoming an author when I was drunk, when I was when I wanted to get older. But then I realized authors take a lot of work. And hello, Meta Knight. Um, this one's kind of an easier Meta Knight fight, not compared to the last one, because all these uh, enemy placements and whatnot are kind of. Well, I can kind of see now why, uh... <laughs> like, these enemy placements aren't so bad. I'm not gonna lie, these aren't so bad as compared to the last one. It's just when those guys... <laughs> when those guys, like, spawn, and they kind of, like, go forward a little bit, yeah, that, that can kind of get a little annoying. These guys are not so bad, but... Let me eat you! There we go. When they do that... That's when it kind of gets a little tricky, because... Come over here. I'm gonna eat you, too. Come over here. But, yeah, that's just that in that shit. Oh, wow. Come here, I eat you, too. There we go. See, this one wasn't that bad at that time. The other one was kind of really bad, because the enemy placement was just absolutely awful. Ball Kirby. Whoa, 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 get out of Ball Kirby! You gotta go plummeting down to the, to the death here. Now, over here, there's a secret switch. Now, this one's kind of... First time playing, you might just pass this by. But actually, you see the door there? There's a door there! Go in through it, and you get in this little room here. They'll reward you with a maximum tomato, and actually, I might get Spark. Or I'm not gonna get Spark! That's fine, too. I don't know how to get that. Can I... Yeah, I can. Okay, good. I thought I could. I didn't know if I could suck that up, because I know there's some limes you can actually just suck up, but... Go through this door. There's a switch. And that'll unlock probably the most useful Colosseum in the game. What I mean by that is... The Colosseum, really, it is, is 
to get maximum tomatoes. But there's also another uh, another reason why you want to get that is um you want to get copy abilities from it. That one, that Colosseum, I will be coming back to a lot to get some of these puzzles, and you guys can probably understand why. Because I just said it earlier. That one has a bonkers in it. So, yeah, if I need hammer really quick, just go use that. And, and you'll get hammer really quick. I know there's going to be a lot of puzzles later that require you to have hammer and whatnot. There's four. And there's five. I think this one has... You know, this one has bonkers in it. Yep, this one has bonkers in it. Oh, God. Okay, I was playing... There's another mode after this, and I'll show it in an extra video. There's actually two modes to play after you beat the game. Whoa! There's, um, extra mode, and then there's, a uh, another mode. Now, I'm not gonna spoil what it is until I get to that bonus episode. But extra mode is practically hard mode in this game. Uh, what it is is... You see how I have six health down there? Extra mode takes away half your HP. So you have three health to beat extra mode in. That, that's really a lot harder than you think it is. So, anyways, down here, if you go down here... Oh, shoot, I, I might not need hammer for this. I forgot about this one. Come down here. There's a puzzle right here. We want to grab high jump first to get rid of these blocks. And where'd you go? Where'd you go, little hothead? Crap. I'm gonna have to... I had to reset the room. Crap. Crap in a box. Woo! Okay, come back here. Or just die! That's fine, too. <sighs> I had to reset the room again. Third time's a charm, right? I can go through the door. There we go. Okay. Okay, come on. There we go. Now, as, as soon as you clear those blocks, hit the fuse with fire. And come in the cannon, cannon bolt here. Or cannon right here, and then it'll take you straight to the secret switch. So, now we have practically all the secret switches hit. Well, I think we got one more after this. I don't know if we have one more after this. I think we might have them all. I'll have to remember. But, yeah. Whoa! Oh, gosh, I forgot how bunch of enemy abundance this level is. But... I actually, as much as, um, as compared to all the other levels, I really like playing Yogurt Yard for some reason. It's not, it's, it's difficult, but it, it, it's a kind of a challenge difficult, in my opinion. But anyways, let's go down this way, in this door here. Oh, I think we might be introducing to another enemy here, so fire would not be advisable for this enemy. Okay. I have to get down. I don't want to... Oh, and a hothead! Okay. Come over here. This is Burning Leo. You can kind of tell why I didn't want to use fire against him. Now, fire is going to be really not effective against him. He's really kind of an easy bo mini-boss, but... In the same sense, he's kind of difficult because he's really fast. But if you suck him up, you get burning. And, as the name implies, Burning Leo. But burning, actually, I, as I mentioned in the first episode, I, I thought it could be just like a separate, like an extra ability on fire. Well, now when I was trying to do that, I forgot that how burning is actually kind of a useful ability. Because it actually, like, makes you go across, well, I'm about ready to get hit by that star. But, like, um, it's actually a really useful ability when you're just uh, going through these levels and whatnot, because... Um, burning... Oh, I got one! Good, 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 Okay. But burning is really useful because you travel really fast distances, and you can get across uh, certain puzzles without having to hit the spikes, or whatever thing is there. And, honestly, it breaks those... these blocks that I keep, keep mentioning about. Like, I know that hammer can take care of them, too, but burning really takes care of them. So does wheel. Speak of... speak of the devil. Eh. Eh, I'll take wheel. I don't care. Well, I knew there was a bottomless pit down there. Ow, son of a gun. I'll just take this one. Okay, I'll go through here. Now, I need wheel for this, because 
do remember he, in order to get past all this real fast. <laughs> what? How did I stop? I didn't push back. Oh, that's why. Okay, just come over here. Need wheel. I like Wheel's ability because he can go on water. Oh, wait a second. Oh, shoot. I forgot about that. I forgot this is the stage that needed it. I just mentioned it earlier. Oh, um, but those blocks right there? You can only break those with a uh, hammer and burning and wheel. Well, I have wheel. I can't use it underwater, unfortunately. So we're going to have to come back to this le level real quick, and I'll make a jump cut. As you can see, there's the switch right there. The only way you can get through it is by breaking these blocks, and the only ability that you can use to break those blocks underwater is wheel, or is hammer. Good thing it's right next to the end here, so I won't have to do very much. I got one again. Good. I was kind of you know, on sync with the music there. But now, you, as you can see, when you don't complete a level, it stays red. And little section of the levels unlocked. Let's go ahead and get hammer real quick. I forgot I needed the hammer. I forgot this is the level I needed hammer in. But yeah, this is the, probably the most useful policy in my my opinion because you need uh, in order to get hammer. This is an easy way to get hammer. So let's go through that level again. I know we're gonna have to. You know what? I might not just cut it. I'll just it's it's gonna be fast enough. Now you just have to go through this whole entire level without taking damage or losing your ability. You can take damage, but make sure you get your hammer again. Oh, come on. This is kind of really annoying. Whoa. Okay, just wait for the wheel to go back. Okay. Now, let's go down this way. I do like how uh, Kirby in the Amazing Mirror... Um, Kirby has an extra ability with hammer. When you dash and then you push B, he does like a swinging motion with his hammer. Like he, um, like he can't, he does a, like a, like a, a twirl with it. That's kind of cool. Whoa. I do like these stages because they're not too long. Like, you saw how fast I can get through this. And actually, all right, right here, there we go. See, now you can break those blocks with hammer. He kind of does a motion like that when he's running, but like forward. He like does a circular motion with it. But anyways, there we go. And also I wanted to show something off. Whenever you complete a level, you can just leave through door. So from the start menu, so once you're done, you're done. So anyways, let's go ta tackle the boss here. Now I don't know this boss's name, but he's really not that hard. And um, he pr practically just takes away all the... He makes a tunnel, but you can also make tunnels with yourself with using hammer and whatnot. Just don't do it too too close to the ground because he will die. But he's really not that hard of a boss. Like, you know, a level 5 boss, he's really easy. A tunnel! But yeah, a level 5 boss, he's really not that hard at all. Especially if you have a hammer. But if you don't have any ability, he will shoot projectiles and whatnot. Level 6 Orange Ocean. Run! <laughs> well, anyways, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. So in the next episode of Let's Play Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, we are going to tackle Level 6 Orange Ocean. And there's a lot of puzzles here that require this ability right here. So I'll see you guys in the next episode.